My son was actually 14 years old at Anoka High School. Ultimately, he ended up having a seizure in the locker room and was diagnosed with brain cancer within 24 hours. Dylan's wish was to be treated with the best care possible, and we found that at St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. So Dylan was a big part in deciding where to receive his treatment. I'm Chris Carlson. I'm with the Carlson Family Light Shield Foundation. We're out of Elk River, Minnesota, and we're just thrilled to be here today supporting uh, this great event, a beautiful day, raising money for absolutely one of the greatest organizations we've ever uh, been a part of. So sometimes it's not just cutting a check, but it's coming out to great events like this. It's encouraging others to come. Um, we try to be as active as we can, and this is one organization we want to work with more. So when I talked to Chris Fritch about this, it was really an easy, uh, easy answer for me. We're, we're very excited to be here. Unfortunately, on Dylan's 16th birthday, he relapsed and was told that he had six months to live. So at 16 years old, um, he met with my husband and I and my daughter and said, here's the deal, I need you guys to raise money. I don't want other kids to go through this. So my son was actually still with us when we created the Dylan Witchin Foundation. So he helped us create the mission behind it. We give scholarships to Anoka and Blaine High School students and then all the rest of our money literally goes over to St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. My name is Logan Hemish. Uh, I work for Arco Companies. I've been with the company for seven years now. We do a lot of events like this uh, just to be out supporting the community and the Dillon Foundation and St. Jude. Seeing the money that's raised uh, that goes towards you know, St. Jude and the kids that uh, are truly you know, deserving of this and need this money, um, it's, a, it's, it's a great thing. And uh, the Dillon Foundation, such a wonderful family. Um, we've, I've, I actually never got to personally meet Dylan myself, but um, the stories I hear of him, I wish I would have met him because he sounds like amazing kid. Um, when the Fritches and Schmitty came to us saying, hey, we want to get involved in a local organization that does amazing things, uh, Ed and I were completely honored. So I cannot thank you guys enough for always opening your hearts and thinking about the kids at St. Jude and thinking about what Dylan asked us to do because I'm telling you with the Chris Fritch team's help, we officially raised $1.2 million last year for St. Jude. Us as a team started this six, seven years ago, you know, if we're going to get behind something, let's get behind something awesome. And this has been unbelievable partnership for the last six, seven years, you guys. The one quote I want to leave you with is Danny Thomas's quote. So back in 1962, he opened up St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. His idea then was, I'm not looking for one person to donate a million dollars. I'm looking for a million people to donate one dollar. Every dollar matters. It's not too small, and of course, uh, it's never too large. Again, without people like uh, the Fritch team, without all of you in this room, I really, again, want to thank you guys. Appreciate you all. Thanks.